David, try not to be late. I will. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten it. Forgot what? Our anniversary. I know you didn't. Okay, see you later then. Time for you to go out, Grace. Lots of things to do. It's been three years. Yes, years pass quickly. Do you remember when we first met? Of course I do, Grace. How can I forget? David? Hello, David. How are you today? Uh, where am I? Who are you? Oh, David. Have you forgotten again? I'm your doctor. Dr. Sophia. And you're in the hospital. A mental one. Do you remember now? Don't worry, David. It's not unexpected to forget things in your condition. And that's why I'm here. To help you. Um... Are you ready for our session today, David? Why am I alone here? Because you are a criminal patient, David. What? I'm not a criminal! Easy, David. I'm here to help you. I am here to heal your mind.
Tell me what you see, David. Tell me what you feel when you look at this painting.
Patient progress report. As for the latest diagnosis, the patient has started to show signs of acknowledgement for his second personality. I still couldn't understand what may have caused his disassociative identity disorder and when the cause of the question occurred, if there is one. The interesting thing is, while in a normal personality, as I decided to call this for now, she acts like a completely normal person with a strong mind. Today I went to test what might trigger this second, sick personality with a little experiment. I asked her if she knew Dr. S. She told me that she even knows her room's password. I asked what it was, and she told me the last digit of the password is half of the second digit. Then she whispered that the second digit was equal to the number of wash basins in the restroom. I asked how she knew this much, and she told me that Sophia told her. I'm afraid this personality I was trying to examine was already triggered when I started to ask questions. Is this Sophia's act? <laughs> it turns out what's happened to me why is there no one but me in this place already asking questions then you remember me and your name good you finally started to show progress what progress what are you talking about mind is fragile david i'm afraid yours is heavily broken but don't worry I'm here to heal your mind. Stop saying that! We are a little aggressive today, aren't we, David? It's good to see you're ambitious. Let's start a session today, then. What happened to me? A lot happened to you, David. But let's take it slow. You should know you're a good person, David. But there are bad things you may do. I haven't done anything wrong. So you remember. I... I don't. How can you be so sure then, David? I... <sighs> Why do you think you're seeing dead bodies, David? How do you know I'm seeing dead bodies? So you admit it. Look, David. Guilt often tends to rise to the surface in the form of your acts, no matter how deeply you bury it. But there is a bright side. Guilt also shows you're developing some progress. That's why there are things attacking me? There are things attacking you? Hmm. 